Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Activities <laughs> for People Living with Dementia. We're proud to offer this series with funding from the Area Agency on Aging and the United Way of Tarrant County. Some of our programs are recorded and some are made available for viewing through a YouTube channel for future use. I am Martha Brown, your host for today's activities. We keep bringing back Emily Corbin. She's just so special. Today yes. she's bringing us, yes, she is. Today she's bringing us fit wits. And you know, it always stretches us and pumps our neurons. Emily, what do you have for us today? All right. Yay. <laughs> Thank you, Martha. <laughs> All right. Let's flex our, our cognitive muscles. <laughs> okay, show me. We have to put our thinking caps on though. Everybody have them? Okay, hang on. Oh, mine's way over here. Hang on. Okay. There you go. There you go. Okay. All right. Oh, hold on. Hot pad. <laughs> yeah. That, <laughs> that way, if Donna Myra, oh. if Donna Myra, you're right in front of me and I see your name. So yeah. <laughs> if uh, Phil and Paulette tune in, They'll, Phil will know that we put our thinking caps on. That's right. They're that's invisible right. today, right? Yeah. Yeah. Invisible right. hat. That's fine. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So let me share my screen with you guys. La, la, la. La, la, la. There it is. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Forgive the mess as usual. I thought we would do some fun um, games today, but. This is the screen I meant to share. Here we oh, go. oh, that looks fun. Looks like Paul. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one of these days I'm going to just make the theme so uh, abstract and obscure that you're going to go, what is the theme? But for today, I think it's pretty obvious. <laughs> um, <laughs> so just in case you didn't get get it with that one i went ahead and did another one oh that's nice <laughs> that's pretty, I was, that's pretty I really like i really like this one yeah. i uh, i debated which one you guys would like the best so um good i'm curious uh it sounds like you responded more to this one that one yeah yeah, yeah. oh yeah. this one yeah. has all the fall colors in it you know it doesn't have any yeah I'm just missing the bird on the wire hanging upside down. <laughs> oh, well, we could put a bird there. Hang on. We can do it. What? What's stopping us? I mean, really. Really? It's right. A bluebird. So we have a all bird. colors. Look at that. A bird. Not bird. 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 We need, we need a cardinal. <gasps> a cardinal. Okay. Ooh. Oh. No, no. That was a red cardinal right there. That little one. Oh, but, but oh, now we have all the cardinals. Something that so, fits into the fall colors. Yeah. I, like I that. agree. But I do love bluebirds, Martha. That's okay. These do need to be fall colors. Which one? Oh, this the one. one? That one looks like it's sitting on something. Mm -hmm. Which one were you going to say, Martha? Oh, the one with the, with the green on, on his uh, for, roll down a little farther. On the left, the green, yeah, oh, uh, branch, and put the branch, the put the branch, one? put the branch on the the line. I don't know, Martha. That one looks like Christmas to me. Well, never mind then. <laughs> I might have, you know what though? If it if you like that one, we will go with it. Right. Well, I'm only one out of ten. <laughs> okay, y'all. It's a democracy. Who's gonna yes. vote? We all need to vote. Big. It's all that's right. right. It's, 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 it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. You can put both of them up if you want. Oh. Okay. I feel like, you that's know cute. what? Thank you, Don. Thank you. We can. We can do both. Why not? Why not? Exactly right. Yeah, there's space over there on the right. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Oh, this one's sweet. looking back like, man, you were excited hey, what you doing for over Christmas. There? Yeah. What a deal. Spring Yay, fall, okay. fall into winter. There we go. Yeah. Well, I like it. Oh, yay. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. I love this, guys. It's going to bug me like, just a little bit. 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, today is Thursday, November 3rd. It's November. Mm -hmm. How did that happen? How did I don't happen? know. Getting the, out of the Earth goes it. around the sun, and and uh, <laughs> the, 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 we don't need the okay. explanation. Okay. Oh, but thank I you, was Don. going to do that. If Don didn't do it, I was going to do it. <laughs> I knew I knew somebody would. Um. So so Don, maybe you can ask answer the question: Why do our leaves change? Why do our leaves change? Because we're you know, due to the Earth's tilt, we're now not getting as much sun as we do mm -hmm. when it's tilted toward. The sun, or when ours tilted toward the sun, so the the light we don't get as much light. The temperatures are cooler, and the the the, the uh, trees the, the trees go into hibernation mode. Yeah, photosynthesis. Yeah, as light as night as night increases. Yeah. All right. So yeah, was, I mean, that, that was a pretty great uh, explanation, complete with the change of the seasons involved as well. Um, but I did not hear the words uh, chlorophyll, uh, carotenoids, or anthocyanin. So you'll have to work on that for next time. I, 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 left, those, I left those words in my other pants. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> They're in with your, your brushes for your paints. Right. Anthocyanin oh. is, is a color for your paints. <laughs> I, I hate it when I forget, you know, it's like forgetting your keys and the yeah, other parts. Exactly, it's like exactly. I left those big words in my other pants. That's like, I'm going to have to use That's that one, good. actually. That's <laughs> a good one. <laughs> All right. Does so it have I think, anything to do with sap? You mean the oh. changing of the leaves? Does, does, does sap slow down? Yeah, a sap, a sap is good in the, in the spring in the in the summer, but as 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 weather gets cold, the, the trees lose their leaves and the sap slows down because okay. that's in, that's energy for the trees to use to get through the winter. Yeah, got it. So it's putting they, a coat on by saving the sap. Yeah, they utilize their sap uh, through the winter, like like a bear hibernating. A tree hibernates too. Does a bear hibernate so, in the woods? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I was saying yes. there to see it. <laughs> so another thing that we focus on this time of year is a big theme that theme that comes up is gratitude. And um, you know, the the world is a crazy place right now. And um mm -hmm. and sometimes uh sometimes when I don't know about you guys, but when someone tells me to to have a gratitude practice or suggest that I, I work on a gratitude practice when the world is kind of crazy and I'm really feeling that I can sometimes react with anger <laughs> like shut up I just want to be mad about it all um, <laughs> um, oh wait but, you're human but, <laughs> thank you thank, yeah thank you Myra thank you for that yes I am so darn human and <laughs> Once I get past that moment of, of feeling a little resentful about the fact that I need to go into that gratitude practice, um, it actually, like, I start to stubbornly accept that it does really work, right? And it, it does actually have a positive effect on me. Um, but, but just like a kid who doesn't want to be told to take their medicine, I can be that way about That's gratitude right. sometimes, <laughs> you know? And so anyway, I guess all of that to say, um, I, I recognize that we've been in this like really intense time lately or for years. <laughs> and then also, yeah. right. And then also that um, there's been this like toxic positivity culture that, that I think has maybe worked against us. And so I want to recognize that um, sometimes we can really resist what's good for us and that is okay, right? <laughs> like, like it's vegetables. okay. Like vegetables. Exactly, Mark. Like vegetables. We need them. We don't want to need them sometimes. <laughs> like, but gratitude is like vegetables. Let's put it on there, shall we? 
Yeah, it's just um, the it's like the cauliflower vegetables. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, so Don Don is not a big cauliflower fan. We're learning. No. But I like um, I, I'm grateful. I'm grateful because I know they're good. It's good for you. And you're grateful you don't have to eat it. Yeah, I, I I don't have to eat it. <laughs> grateful that Attitude I don't make it. Is like cauliflower. Okay, well, yes. what else is it like? Um. What what's your vegetable, Martha, that you don't want to eat? I like them all. <laughs> I would say it, since uh, George H. W. Bush didn't like broccoli, I'll just <laughs> say broccoli. But I love broccoli. <laughs> okay, so the little tree vegetables are getting a a, yeah. a bad rap right now. Oh okay. yeah, they are, yes. They'll be, and they'll belong mm -hmm. in the same family too. So and certainly yeah. the Cheetos you need broccoli. And so is gratitude cruciferous? Is that what, is that what, what I'm it? saying? Yeah, that's exactly. It's a number. It's a number <laughs> four vegetable. A number four. Tell me about that, Martha. Uh, back when Weight Watchers was a brand new <coughs> thing, back in the '60s and '70s, number three vegetables were ones you could eat all you wanted of, like green beans and peas. But if it was a number four vegetable, it was uh, heavier and you only got four ounces a day of that. And some of them were number fours were like sweet potatoes and um, okay and, um, that were supposed to be heavier in calories. <clears throat> I have a hard time believing that there's a limit to how much broccoli we should eat. I think if I think if you were going to eat that much broccoli that it was bad for you, it would probably crush you under its weight first. Mm -hmm. um, yes. But but I don't know. It, it could be true. Um okay. Well just despite put our in. what? I'm gratitude is a number four vegetable. I can't believe you put that on there. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Why not? It's it's an inside joke, right? It's a good story um, from 1970. <laughs> is that when it's from? Yes, for me. That's okay, when I first I'm going to share this item with you guys. It might take a second to load since I'm running so many different programs right now. I really and enjoy it that you do this for us. All of your video, all of your visuals. Thanks, Martha. Well, come mm -hmm. here. I'm trying to move this guy, but it's, there we go. There we go. Okay. If I make it a little bigger and move. My goodness, so many parts to move out of the way. All right. Well, we'll have to scroll up. So 10 benefits to gratitude. So they've actually done studies now, right? Like um, there's there's neuroscience to back up. It's not just all this woo woo kind of, I think gratitude is good for you kind of thing. Um, there are a lot of studies. Um, there are studies um, with MRI imaging um, that, that show um, that gratitude actually uh, a practice of gratitude lights up the part of our brain um, responsible for emotional processing, right? It, so, and, and cognition. Um, so gratitude actually, where'd she go? Um, I'll, be I'll be back. Yes, ma'am. Uh, no, just my screen changed. So I went, what? Where'd she go? No, I'll um, something. Gratitude lights up the prefrontal cortex. So Lucinda. it actually, a practice of gratitude can make us feel less pain, less um, depression, can help us sleep better. Um, helps our immune system. Number nine is interesting. Uh, reduces feelings of jealousy. Uh, I don't know. Girls. <laughs> I know that I thought that's interesting. Is that a is jealousy a very common emotion? And it must be um, common enough 
right? That mm-hmm. it made the made this list, mm-hmm. which is interesting to me. Um, no, but you feel good, Emily. If you if you just are happy and you feel good, you don't really get jealous of other people. That's right. Gratitude. Totally. Yeah. Gratitude eliminates the, your need for jealousy. Exactly. Yes, I one hundred percent agree. What I thought was surprising was that enough people have uh i don't know noticeable feelings of jealousy that it was something they felt like they needed to point out well there's all kinds of jealousy i mean i mean yeah. they're jealous Comparison. of somebody's somebody's house somebody else's house that's somebody's right the grass is they have, somebody's job. yeah, yeah what did they say That's in the right. ten commandments don't don't uh don't lust after your neighbors what wives yeah and the grass is, is green on the other side yeah. right the grass is green right. on the other side that's right <laughs> yeah so comparison comparing someone else's life to your own in any way and then feeling uh, resentful that you don't have what they have that's what you guys are, are picking up in number nine. Is that right? Yeah. 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 Keeping okay. up with the Joneses. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Keeping up with the Joneses. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. That, that's another one. Uh-huh. Yeah, very nice. Um, so, sorry, I've lost my Canva. There we go. Uh-oh. So quickly, I thought we would um, just make ourselves a little <gasps> gratitude tree. Right. Oh, that purple is just so distinct. Mm-hmm. This one? Yes. Yeah. Well, let's use this. Let's use a pile of gratitude instead. Okay. If you want to. So for each leaf, I, I don't know how many leaves there are. There's, there are a lot. We're going to come up with something that we feel grateful for. And <coughs> if you need a prompt, um, we can start. If you want, we can start with something that happened this morning. Um, And we'll take turns. So anybody who wants to to go can go. Huh? No, don't say. So something that you feel grateful for that happened this morning. What did you say, Martha? Breathing? Breathing. Breathing. That's a good one. I'm going to make our text white so we can. Yeah. And bold. Maybe. Gratitude for uh, our, uh, our, our, um, the, uh, uh, okay, uh, I have to think about how we say this. It's gratitude for um, what we've been given um, for. Um, The, the things that we have that uh, uh, support us, I guess, the things we have that support us. Yeah. So how I might shorten that into a bite-sized, you know, bit would be that our needs are met. Yes, yes. Does that, does that sound appropriate that or like what you were getting across? Okay. Hmm. Needs met. Boom. Hmm. Food on the table? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. No, not, oh, come on, food on the table. Come on. (laughs) No. Come on. No. Love love food on the table. Love the food on the table, always. Bless you. Bless you. you. Thank you. Okay. (laughs) Bless you. Bless you twice. One more? Right. Food on the table. Drink, drink on the table. No. Food and sure. drink. What does food want and to put on the drink. table? You want to drink? Yeah. I could food and without, drink on the table. I couldn't live without something to drink. Nobody can. Mm-mm. It's true. I'm going to take that up on our green leaf. Okay. Nancy, what's something that you feel grateful for? Um, a nice warm house. 
Mm. Warm house. Yes. What's our next one? Friends. Anybody? Friends. friends. I was going to say good friends. Good friends. Friends, yeah. friends and family. Mm. Family, yeah. Friends and family. I feel like friends and family each get their own. Okay. Yeah. 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 Family earns its own leaf. That's right. <laughs> well, you know, family is its own challenge. Yes. And <laughs> and and gets its own leaf. So I was listening to a TED talk this morning about gratitude and about gratitude as a kind of medicine and um and it's you know one of the important things that the speaker pointed out is that we have to be grateful for the things that we don't really like or enjoy also that's right, right. Yeah. um because it's our resistance to those things those experiences in life, like resistance to illness or resistance to pain of any kind, emotional, physical, financial pain, is our resistance to, the, to those things that actually keeps us more bound to them. Um, and and it, it was a really um, interesting because the woman who was speaking has a child with muscular dystrophy. And she explained her experience <laughs> Of, um, of coming to be grateful for her child's illness, which was a, just a bizarre thing to hear her talk about. Um, and wow, she seems to have really mastered it. Amazing. Um, one of the ways I've heard that described is I'm grateful for my problem. Um, <laughs> That's an oversimplification, right? I'm grateful for my problems. <laughs> I wouldn't want somebody else's. Let me just say that. That's right. That's, I'm that's grateful right. I don't have somebody else's problems, too. But. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, each of us is uniquely equipped to deal with our problems and not someone else's, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can't imagine what that would be. So I'm going to go ahead and put... I'm grateful for my problems, just like for that. fun. Go, Emily. I mean, sometimes, even with gratitude, you do have to fake it till you make it, right? Mm -hmm. You may not be may not be feeling terribly grateful for your problems right now, um, mm -hmm. but just this idea of changing your relationship to it is super powerful. You can't sharpen a knife without a whetstone. This is true, Martha. It, it, elaborate on that. Say more. Well, a whetstone by itself won't cut anything. But if you mm -hmm. have a, a knife that's dull that won't cut a piece of bread, if you rub it up and down the whetstone, the knife becomes sharp, and then you can cut through anything. So you have to have the grit of the whetstone to make the knife sharp, else you can't cut bread. You have to have the grit. Grit, grit. You have to have the grit. I like that. Uh, can we put grit? Can sure. we put, can sure. we add grit? Okay, let's add grit. I'm grateful I want a for grit. With that. Yeah. I have grit. <laughs> grit. <laughs> And I'm just going to put a period at the end because it just feels like there should be a period at the end of that. Grit. grit. Yes. Where does our be, grit You could be like John Wayne and have true grit. <laughs> That's a movie. You know what? Maybe truth gets its own. Yeah, truth. Ooh, yes. Ooh. Well, we need like that these days. We need as much of that as we can get. Mm -hmm. Always. Yes. Truth. All right, Heather's she's gonna go. Heather's uh, picture when she logs on for uh, let's get together is yes. Grace, truth, grace, grace and truth. Yeah, how about grace? 
I'm thankful mm -hmm. for grace. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, please. Okay, let's do one more. About and then... grateful, grateful for forgiveness. Yes. Forgiveness. Mm -hmm. No P in forgiveness. Nope. <laughs> Unless we want forgiveness for misspelling it. <laughs> you know what? That that's a great point. See this group. I mean, you guys look at these. Grateful for breathing, food and drink on the table, for truth, for grit, for forgiveness, for our needs met, our warm house, grateful for our problems, our grace, our friends, and our family. I, love that. I like that. That's pretty special. That's pretty special. Yeah, it, is. it is pretty special. I'm going to send this to you all. Will you send yeah. it to um, me too? What? Send it to me too. 100 percent you're all you said you all. you're part of you all. Oh, i'll send it to martha twice just okay that. there you go there you all go all y'all <laughs> <laughs> <All 'all. laughs> okay so let's now that we're grateful we're in that um that grateful headspace let's do some trivia shall right. we mm -hmm. <laughs> okay um so are there any of these topics that feel particularly interesting or that you think you're going to master? <laughs> master. Uh, yeah. Don't put that yeah. word in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> name that flower. I don't know. And uh, name that animal. Ooh, I know what that animal is. Does anybody mm -hmm. else? What is it? I think when, <laughs> when you tell me what it is, it's a South African big rat. I was in South America and it was there in the jungles, the Amazon. Yeah. It's, they have them in Brazil. It's a capybara. Capybara, oh, okay. Uh, I think so. <laughs> I know it by an easier name. <laughs> oh, really? Well, you know, we have we have different names for different animals here than they do in other countries. Um, yeah. So we seem to have been drawn to the animals. Shall we? Shall we give it a try? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Let's give it a try. Right. When so I do great. that, uh, when I slide my screen over a little bit, does it hide that ad? No. The gray it? thing? It doesn't. For some of you, it does. For some, it doesn't. Okay. Do we, we don't want the timer, do we? No. No. We don't want the timer. Okay. Let's start our quiz. Uh, what is this? Otter. 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 All right. Yay. That is a booby. That's a booby, yep. yep. Mm -hmm. It's the How booby. How pretty are those feet? It's a blue foot booby. Yes, yeah. it is. Those little feet are awesome. Oh, what Not. is that? That's, I would say it's, it's not a puffin. No, no it's not, not a puffin. It's, and a, I don't, it's not, it must be an albatross because it's not uh, a condor. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. not a condor. It's not a pelican. I think it, it's not a pelican. Yeah, I think it yeah. might be an albatross. Mm -hmm. or is, albatross is our vote. Okay. Yep, yep. Good job. We are an effective democracy here. Mm -hmm. All we right. Are. We are. Uh, okay. Ooh, what a gremlin. gremlin. <laughs> Maybe it is. is that Don't a feed it after thing? midnight. Right. Don't get it wet. Um, I would think it's a fox. That this yeah, movie. I think it's the Finnick fox. It does look like a fox. I've never even heard of some of the, like a sand cat or a gremlin. I've never heard of that. A I gremlin mean, is, a, is not, is a fish. A fi I think it's a fi fictional thing. Yeah. Yeah, I th I think so. Aww. That's the clownfish. Clownfish, yep. Oh, hi, That's baby. Nemo. That's yeah. really cute, huh? <laughs> yes, and he lives I in Yemeni. Yep, it almost in the, in doesn't look like a... It, it almost looks painted, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. We had a saltwater aquarium one time where we had a, a, a 
I'm fishing an anemone in it. They're so cool. My uncle has a saltwater aquarium, and boy, he—I mean, that thing is like a marriage for him. He is—he <laughs> is just all in, dedicated, dedicated, constant, huh? constant grooming uh, and and attention. And I, oh my goodness, that's wonderful. I, it is. It's lovely, and and they're beautiful to see. Um, but I. I think his, his wife gets a little frustrated because he took over one of the major closets in their house with all of the supplies that he uses for their for his fish. It's a huge amount of work. It is. It is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Who's, it taking, is. who's taking care of it while he's here? Oh, different uncle. Different uncle. Oh, okay. Yeah, and, and that uncle is still in uh, New Mexico, the one you're talking about. Oh. Um, I thought he is was in, in the Arizona. hospital. He was, and uh, when he returned to the Santa Fe area, is is mm -hmm. when he had to go to the hospital. Oh no! Okay. Um, yeah, he's he's doing okay. He's, okay, he's good. not great. He's it's doing right. okay. Awesome. What is this? I heard Arnold not... say something. What did he say? I said Arbor. I think, I, I, think right. I think he's right. Hardware. Is that an That's nice. my guest. Awesome. Good also job. known as an anteater. I started to say okay. it looks like yeah. an anteater to me, but that wasn't a choice. <laughs> well, they eat ants, termites, all sorts of things. So not limited to ants. Nope. <laughs> Look at that snout. It's just know, built it, for that, huh? It's got a, it's got a, terrible, no, it's a terrible, terribly long, long tongue also. Yeah. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> Moving right along. Now that is that thing there. That thing. <laughs> the capybara. The capybara. The capybara. Yeah. Yay! After all that, I, it would have been really funny if I got it wrong, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> all right. And that's a hedgehog. Hedgehog. Oh, no, wait, oh, no, oh Echidna. A what? It is? Echidna. Mm -hmm. Really? A hedgehog uh, looks differently. It doesn't have the long stick steps. It's, like an, Australian, a... it's an Australian hedgehog oh. type. Oh. It is. Oh, very good. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, I well, have we gotten saw, that wrong. We saw yeah. one when we were there. Oh. Very, very impressive. No, I missed that one. Are they yeah. nocturnal? Uh, I don't know. Okay. It doesn't look like it. <laughs> yeah. No. It's it's out, it's in the sun. out in the sun. Okay. <laughs> this I, one's up late, if that's the case, huh? Yeah. yeah. Uh, been out partying. Oh, I love these. Mm -hmm. Well, it has to be the soft dolphin. <laughs> no, Who doesn't? The narwhal. The narwhal, oh, yeah. Narwhal. Yeah. The oh, unicorn yeah. fish. <laughs> yeah. Nice work, guys. I don't know how many there are. How many there are. I Puffin. saw a bunch of these. Yeah. I saw a Puffin. bunch of those in Seattle at the Seattle Aquarium. Uh, when I was a smoker, my mother went to Alaska for a trip and she came home with a sign that was a puffin that had the red slash across it. <laughs> she wanted me to stop smoking. <laughs> well, it nope. worked, didn't it? It, it did, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Can you believe we ever did that kind of thing? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And I know. Mm -hmm. So gross. So gross. Um, and our hands. What is this? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Stinky and... Iguana. It looks as if it's in the, the iguana family. Iguana. I agree. It's a iguana. I don't know what a gila monster is. Gila monster is black. It has spots on it. It's poisonous. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, it's an iguana. and geckos are too cute. Yeah. Yeah. Salamanders are a lot smaller, I think. Slimy. Yeah. Okay. Good job, guys. Yay. Aren't we a great okay. team? Oh, look oh, at it. Oh, how beautiful. Uh, so I know this one because this is my daughter's absolute favorite. Yeah, at I know. It, I better know it. I know it too. 
Well, well tell it, us, yeah, huh? It's the red panda. Yep, yes, red panda. Yes, yes. We have a bunch of stuffed red pandas upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I'm, I'm so impressed in amongst all of this. Yeah, we haven't gotten a single one wrong. Now, now we it. have to eliminate here. Yeah, that's interesting. It doesn't look uh, This one is tough. Just as I said, we didn't get one wrong. Yeah. I mean, mm. Well, it's not a macaw. A macaw is a bird. Yeah, and it's not a red squirrel. Nope. No. And it doesn't look like a cat. No, it doesn't it's, look it looks like a yeah. It's like it's more uh, doggish than cattish. It has to be the tanuki, whatever that is. Yeah, yeah, I don't even know. I've never even heard of it. No. It sounds Japanese. Yeah, uh, it does. What is a tanuki? Let's go with it. Yes. Good okay. job, guys. Okay, we're going to have to find out more about that one, though. Agree. We know this. It's a wallaby. Yep. Is that right, everybody? Yep. I wallaby down. So what's the difference between a wallaby and a kangaroo? Size. Size, yeah. Oh, you'll get it. <laughs> so soft. Chinchilla. Chinchilla. Yep. Okay. Apparently, I have like a great, 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 great uncle who raised chinchillas. Um, not for good reason, so I wasn't. Yeah. I wasn't terribly happy to hear about that. Back in the '60s and '70s, there was all sorts of ads for people to get started raising chinchilla, making chinchilla farms. Right. It yeah. was like a get-rich-quick thing. It was exactly. It was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Well, My apparently. My niece has two as a as pets. Yeah, Sweet. I mean, I I've seen them before as pets. They're darling. They're so soft. Um, so we got six thousand points. I feel pretty good about that. Wow! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know what they're good for, but I I feel gratitude about gratitude. Our yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. So shall we do one more? We have four minutes left together. Sure. Um, sure. I mean, we have as much time as you want left together, but I figure you all have things going on today. Uh, or let's see. We could do a quick brain game. Ooh. Never. I'll take the sucker. <laughs> Lolly, Which I'll take lollipop for 500, please, or yeah. 600, yeah. please, Alex. That's right. <laughs> That's what we'll use our points for. Mm. <laughs> yeah, right, to buy lollipops. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of uh, when you go and you get the ticket, you know, you go get the tickets uh, and then turn your tickets in for some kind of junk that, you know. Oh, yes. Was worth about a, a, a penny. <laughs> At the so, fair. What is happening here? Try to solve these challenging puzzles by finding the image that doesn't belong with the rest. How quickly can your eyes spot the difference? Oh my goodness. Okay. So I'm gonna. Okay. Mm. Oh no! Oh, you don't want we've to do seen this, this before. This no, is not Martha. fun. <laughs> it's not fun, right? It's not. Mm -mm. But but this one, I okay. Okay. That's what I needed to do was just scroll down. This one, this one is is fun enough. So we have to figure out which one of these, which one is not like the other, as the song they sing on Sesame Street. Oh. Where do we start? My, I, <laughs> I think number 10 is not like the others. Yeah. Okay. What's different about it, Don? Well, now, now, that, now that I've seen it, it's just, just like its orientation is different. So I thought that they had the, the three, the three uh, branches and the two branches in, in different positions, but it's just turned. 
Mm -hmm. And it breathes. It's just rotated. Yeah. Yes. It's just rotated. Okay, wow. Good. This is challenging. I mean, huh. They must mean this for young people with good eyes. <laughs> well, I can make it bigger. Oh, I think number four. Ooh. You think number four? What's different about it? There's, there's something with the line, but maybe it's also the rotation of it. That those spikes with three, I don't know. Oh, maybe it has the, six. The it way it is. Yeah, that's right. It has mm -hmm. six. No, it doesn't. Six of what, Martha? Uh, okay, it doesn't. But it just, <laughs> look, it just it looks different. Yeah. Man. Are you ready? Do yeah. we want to find out? Oh, okay. oh, 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 wait, number six. Six. Okay, we'll go with number six. Number six number has six. the star with six points. <gasps> yeah, that's right. Yes. That's right. Yes. Oh, yes. That's okay. it. Oh yes. man, Woo. you're right. I know, right, Myra? God. That's so obvious then. <laughs> Once you see it. When you yeah. see it, you yeah. See it. Yeah. Yeah. Once you see it. Okay. Well, no two snowflakes <laughs> alike. I gotta back this up a little bit real quick. No. We we need verification. <laughs> oh, do we? Okay. No, we don't. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Right there. There you go. Okay, right thank there. you. Validation. Validated. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for the validation. Grateful. Okay. So which of these is different? So they all have olives, ham, and cheese. Right. Or at least some combination Four. of those things. Or one stands out a little more than the rest. I, I know. I think I know. Does anybody else know? Mm, I no. have a guess. I have a guess too, but it involves. I think it's number five. It only has one olive. The other one has two olives up there. And I think it's number six. And it doesn't have any cheese on it either, number five. Neither. Yeah, yeah, two true. pieces of salami true. on it. Salami, no cheese. Five and but four. And five don't have cheese either. I'd go for six. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, we if if our democracy would be in challenge right here, so it would. We we better look at the facts. I, we better look I, at the truth oh, I'm, together. I'm with, I'm with you, Martha. Six. So okay. six. It's the one that stands out the most to me, but Six, you know, all the other ones have either cheese or salami. Yeah, right. and they only have one kind of cheese. This one has two different kinds of that bottom layer. Mm -hmm. Um, but has, I don't know. It has cheese and ham. Yes, the, the other oh, number two has. Only ham. Or the other. And, and the, the number three has only ham. These, it looks no, like peppermint cheese, but I guess it's like mortadella or something. Yeah. Something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So are it's, we going to go with number six? Yes. I okay. go with number five. Number of toppings. Six has three different toppings. Yes. Yeah. Yay. Okay. Last okay. one, and then we'll we'll say we'll say goodbye to each other for today. <laughs> oh my goodness! I think number six looks M &Ms. like <laughs> number, five, number six is different because it's falling down. You think? Yeah, but num number five is the only one with a yellow yellow tip. I'd go with Yetta on number five. Yeah, I go with that. Yeah, I go with that. They all look like red or blue. Yep. Right. Well, but why would we say that the color difference is the more important difference rather than the fact that they're all upright or not upright? Oh, I, I think I the, 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 the laying down is just a trick. They're trying to trick us. 
Uh -huh. Because the others have red and blue bulbs on top. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. I mean, yes, they do. I don't know. Okay. So we're going with number five. Number five, please. Number five, yes. Number two. Number two? What? 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 What's different about number two? If you look closely, you'll notice that for every other tree, the colored lights on the left side match the right side. Oh, oh my oh. God. <laughs> so it was none of the obvious things. You oh, had to look goodness. a little deeper. There's, there's, there's too many answers that could work with this one. I don't, yeah. Number it's two. True. Okay, I got you. I see it. I see it. Yeah. Mm. Well, well, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. That was an yeah, interesting that's that's an interesting one. That last one, Martha, reminded me a little bit of when we had to, you know, we were looking at like a bagel or something and you had to pick like which bagel has more poppy seeds and it was just <laughs> yeah, it was so, uh, so tedious. Uh, and one had popcorn. Uh-huh. Yeah. It was pretty awful. Yeah, that was really challenging. But you know what? I'm grateful for those things that feel really challenging. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the grit for the day. That's mm -hmm. the grit. <laughs> yeah. That unpopped that, kernel of corn at the bottom that, of the bag. <laughs> that, that was my problem for the day. That's right. Yeah. The, the last one, the, the Christmas tree puzzle? Yeah. yeah. Okay. My All right. Let's go with it. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for All right. Thank your, you. Well, joyful thanks. participation and I will send this uh, slide to all of you. All right. I'll also send you a copy of I'll send you the link to the TED talk that I was looking okay. to. Oh, that'd be good. Thank you. And that'd that good. and an infographic about just how gratitude is good for you. Okay. 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 Yay. Thanks, good. Emily. We appreciate you. Yeah. Thank you. Emily. you. Emily, thank you. Oh, Emily's going to do this two more thank times you, today. Okay. We're let's see. Let's share our screen. Here we go. Oh yes, we're seeing it. We're seeing it. Good. Fitwits, 10 30, 11 30, and 1 30 today and tomorrow, Friday. Pets are practical with Kate and Jet. This is our last session with Kate and Jet, so we need to soak it up while we have it. And then Monday. Nia is coming to us, our chair yoga, 10.30, 11.30, and 1.30. Yay. Thank you, everybody. Anybody have anything right. you want to share before we go? No. 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 Throw away your troubles. Yeah. <laughs> Throw we away do. your troubles. They're gone. <laughs> All right. We love We're just be grateful for them. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Exactly. All right. See everybody tomorrow. Bye-bye.